Hey everyone, this is Greeny22 here, and today I'm going to talk about my five most anticipated titles for the rest of the year. One or two titles have come out this year so far that I really enjoyed, and probably would have been in here if they hadn't already come out, such as Dead Space 3 or Bioshock Infinite. Those two games really, really were good when they came out, and I really enjoyed them. But, however, this is my five most anticipated games for the rest of the year. So, I'm going to start off this countdown. Number 5. Call of Duty Ghosts. You may think, why is a Call of Duty commentator putting Call of Duty Ghosts at number 5? That's mainly because I'm a Zombies player. I don't really like multiplayer that much in Call of Duty. To me, it's just starting to get that I'm crap at zom multiplayer. People are good, I just get demolished every time. So, Call of Duty Ghosts, it, it looks okay. I like the interaction with animals in this new one, like, you get to ha there's a dog in the campaign which you care for, and uh, I'm a big fan of dogs, but I'm hoping they don't kill off the dog, that's all. And the fact that there's going to be voice commands for the Xbox One, that's going to stuff everything up. I can tell that, because if someone has their voice commands on, and uh, they have their TV up, and don't have a headset in, they can hear people who are playing. That means they could go through the speakers, someone saying Xbox da da da, and then that happens to your console as well. So I think that's going to be a really major thing that could go bad for Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox One. Number four, Batman Arkham Origins. For me, Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City games were both really great games. I've always loved Batman. It's always been one of my favourite type of things, even back in the old Adam West days on TV. I, I wasn't alive back then, but still, it's good to go back and revisit those. Even if you can have shark repellent. If you get that reference, then good for you. But Arkham... Asylum was a really good game. Both of them have really major plot storylines. And it's just the well-made games, well-made maps, have everything planned out well. They've managed to incorporate all of the villains like Bane, the Riddler, Mr. Freeze, the Joker, Penguin, all of them really well. And even some of the lesser-known ones as well. And then, with Arkham Origins, it seems that it focuses on, I forget the name, I think it's Deadshot. And he was a really good side mission in Arkham City. And hopefully, this is a great game like the others. And just keeps giving. This next one is a PS3 exclusive. And this comes out in June. Which makes me really excited. Number three on my list is The Last of Us. The Last of Us is kind of close to me because Naughty Dog have always been my favorite, com one of my favorite companies. Because they made all the old school Crash Bandicoots and they made Uncharted, one of my favorite game series of all time. If they've managed to weave Uncharted ideas into this game, like, because if you don't know, the people who made, like, the group that made Uncharted from Naughty Dog, most of them are making The Last of Us. So, if they can improve the engine, if they can improve everything that was in Uncharted and po put it in this, like, post-apocalyptic event, then it will turn into one of the biggest PS3 exclusive games ever. So... I really hope The Last of Us is a really good game, because I'm looking forward to it a lot. And same with this next game, which is also a PS3 exclusive, and it doesn't come out near towards the end of the year, but I am looking forward to this game so much. Number two, Beyond Two Souls. This one's really close to me, because it's made by the same people who made Heavy Rain, Quantic Dream, and Heavy Rain has to be one of my favourite games of all time. 
Heavy Rain has one of the most in-depth storylines, and it's one of the most cinematic games of all time. And they've upped the ante with Beyond Two Souls. They've had more bigger actors and actresses in Beyond Two Souls. That main protagonist is played by Alan Page. And one of the other storyline characters is voiced and done by Willem Dafoe. Which I really, really like this idea. And if you've seen, I will put a link to um, the 35 minute gameplay in the description. And I will put a trailer gameplay for all of it in the description. But this game looks amazing. It's really close to me because it has the same like action sequences and all that type of thing like Heavy Rain. And like Heavy Rain, I hope it has a really close storyline. And I hope it has multiple endings. Because I love non-linear campaigns. This last game. I think most of you should know it. I'm not sure if it's too well known or not. So, um, I'll just tell you what it is. Number one. Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so I was joking around a bit there. Of course, everyone would know what this is. And Grand Theft Auto 5 is my number one game for this year. My opinion, Grand Theft Autos have always been great games. And with Grand Theft Auto coming out, they've upped the ante. You can be one of three ca main characters, which I think is a really good idea. They've upped the actual multiplayer itself and multiplayer. Most people don't really go into Grand Theft Auto multiplayer. But it's really good, really fun, and you should all enjoy it if you go back and play Grand Theft Auto 4. But Grand Theft Auto 5 looks like it brings so many more opportunities. You can explore under the water. You have like submarines, of course, now as well, because you can explore underwater. And then if one of the pre-order bonuses is actually a blimp. Which you can ride in and go around the city, and that's a really cool. So, I hope you enjoy all of these. Because I really enjoy these games. They're going to be coming out this year. And make sure if you have any suggestions or have anything you want to talk to me or comment about any of these games. If you want to comment about any of these games and have a query at all, I know most of the stuff about these games because I've talked about them and looked up a lot about them myself. Because all of these five, just to reiterate, five Call of Duty Ghost, four Arkham Origins, three The Last of Us, two Beyond Two Souls, and one GTA Five. I hope you enjoyed, really enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And thanks for watching.